I'm Danielle, and this is going to be a short 25-minute uh, vinyasa flow. It's going to get you moving, get you breathing, and then get you back into whatever the rest of your day has to offer. So let's get started in a child's pose. So finding your way onto your shins, and if it feels good, take the knees nice and wide, um, or maybe you'd rather just take the knees together, right? Whatever feels good for you. Arms can be nice and soft, elbows on the mat, and then just let your head fall down. If you've got some props, maybe blocks, pillows, blankets, you can put something underneath your forehead. Just kind of settling yourself in here. And just taking a couple deep breaths. In through the nose. And let it out through the mouth. And let's do that two more times. Breathe in. Big exhale. And one more. Breathing in. Open up the mouth. And start to find some breath in and out through your nose. And in this breath is a tool that we can really start to use to start to activate that inner vibration, some of those inner sensations. So just taking a couple rounds of breath, kind of waking yourself up from the inside with that breath in and the breath out. On your next inhale, start to come up to your hands and knees, finding a tabletop position. Take a nice big spread of your fingers, and we'll take a couple cat cows. So inhale, arching, looking upwards. Exhale, press the mat away, rounding, let the head fall. A couple more rounds, inhale, heart forward, cow. Exhale, lift and round, cat. And you can stick with this traditional up and down motion. But if it feels good, maybe you change it up. Maybe there's some circular motions in the body. Maybe there's a little shift of your head and tail side to side. Or my personal favorite, I like to turn my fingers back towards the knees and play with a couple cat cows that way, just starting to open up the other side of the arm and the wrist. Try to stay with your breath. And then finding your way to a neutral spine, flip the hands back if you flip them. Tuck the toes, hover your knees just an inch off of the ground so you start to fire up the arms, you fire up the core. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And just keep moving that around, whatever way feels good for you. So pedal pushing the feet, swaying the hips. See if you can start to feel this outer rotation of the upper arms towards your ears. And then let's turn this into a walk up to the hands. So bent knees, little steps. Head hangs heavy, maybe you grab opposite elbows, just kind of letting everything fall over the legs here. And then softening the knees a little more, start to roll your way up to stand. Taking your time as you arrive at the top. And once you do find that mountain pose, just kind of let the shoulders fall away from the ears. Feel the feet wide into the mat. And then from that rootedness, reach the arms upwards. Inhale. Hands are going to press together. Prayer to your heart. And just for a moment, close your eyes here. Setting an intention that calls to you for this practice. And let's seal it, open it with the sound of OM. Deep breath in. Om. Gently blink your eyes open. Inhale, arms sweep overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Half lift, breathe in, heart forward. 
Exhale, planting hands, just step back to plank position this first time. Fire up the arms again, fire up the quads, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lower knees, bend the elbows, take yourself to the ground. The baby cobra, as you inhale, heart shines forward, tops of the feet press down. Exhale, soften back to the mat. Hips back over heels, brief child's pose, inhale. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. One full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, take a bend in your knees. Look forward and let's step right foot, left foot, top of the mat. Gently let your head go. Inhale, root to rise, arms reach overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana. Half lift, breathe. Exhale, hands plant, stepping back, plank position, pause, breathe in. Maybe you take your knees down, or this time one line from your head to your heels, bend the elbows and lower all the way to the mat. Another cobra pose as you inhale, really pressing the tops of the feet down so much that you feel your quads and your knees want to lift upwards. Exhale, release. Pressing back, hips over heels, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips high, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, bend the knees, looking forward. Exhale, left foot, right foot, top of the mat, and gently fold. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hinge and fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, stepping back, plank, and then it's your choice. Maybe you lower all the way, or chaturanga this time, halfway down. Shoulders and elbows are in one line. Come onto the tops of your feet. Lift your knees and your hips completely for your up dog. And then exhale, use the low abdominal, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Bend the knees, look forward, maybe a walk or a light hop. Feet meet the hands, fold as you breathe out. Inhale, arms overhead. One more sun, folding down. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, stepping back. If you do like to hop, land in chaturanga with your bent elbows. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. And let's take two more here just to start to feel that inner light, that inner vibration starting to rise up to the surface. Bend the knees. Look forward, a little walk or light hop, top of the mat, forward fold. And this time we'll find Utkatasana chair pose. So bend the knees, sweep the arms up, and really drive the hips back towards the back edge of your mat. So you can turn on the hamstrings here, turn on the glutes, and kind of squeeze them towards your midline. Make sure you're breathing, and you're going to notice sensation starts to arise. And see if you can really be with that sensation for what it is and maybe start to unwrap yourself from the story that surrounds that experience. As you exhale, fold, let that go. Halfway lift, breathe in. Stepping, hopping back, chaturanga your way. Open up your heart, breathe in. Downward facing dog as you exhale. And then inhale, send your right leg up and back. And go ahead and open up that hip. Take a bend in the knee, reach the knee upwards. Stretching out the quadricep a bit, the hip flexor. And then straighten that leg out. Let's bring the knee to the right upper arm. Exhale, try to tap and hold. And then kick it up and back as you inhale. Exhale, knee to right upper arm. And you're going to see that thumb. Put the foot down behind the thumb so it's a wider step. Back foot spins flat, warrior one. And two arms are going to come up towards the ceiling. Back toes are at about a 45 degree angle. Root into the pinky toe edge of that foot. And then let that left hip just surrender forward. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands by your low back. Squeeze the shoulders, lift the sternum up, breathe in, humble warrior. Exhale, taking the torso forward. Just breathe, inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale, come back up to warrior one, straighten out the front leg. And then turn the right toes to the side of your mat. Turn the left toes to the back edge of your mat. Bend your knee, warrior two, facing the other side of the room. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, left arm up and back, peaceful warrior. And then exhale, find your way to low lunge. Step back to plank and take your version of vinyasa. Okay, so that can include chaturanga, up dog, down dog, or maybe you go straight from plank to down dog. You can skip the whole thing. Let's try that on the left side. Left leg sweeps up, breathe in. Let the knee bend, open up the hip. And just give yourself a moment here. Sending some awareness to that new sensation. Straighten the leg out. Exhale, knee comes to your left upper arm. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, knee to left upper arm and then see the thumb. So you put the foot down behind the thumb. Back foot flat, arms up, Virabhandrasana one. Deep breath. Rooting into the ground. And then letting that energy bubble up from the earth towards the fingertips, towards the ceiling. Hands are going to come behind you as you exhale. Interlace, try the other thumb on top, lift your sternum up as you breathe in, and then bow down, humble warrior, exhale. Try to let the head fall, let the head release. Trust the support of your lower limbs. Inhale, back up to warrior one. Straighten out that front leg. Turn left toes, turn right toes. Warrior two, other side of the mat. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, right arm up and back. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step back, plank. Move your way. Maybe you add in a couple extra chaturangas this round. Finding your up dog on an inhale, and then taking your hips up and back downward facing dog. Same thing, we're just gonna move through with the rhythm of our breath. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, extend it. Knee to right upper arm, exhale. Inhale, shoot it up and back. Exhale, bring it forward, put it down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands behind, interlace. Lift the chest as you breathe in, bow forward, humble, exhale. Inhale, come back up, warrior one. Exhale, pivot toes, warrior two, back of the mat. Inhale, left arm up and back. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step to plank, move your way, connect to your breath. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Left leg up, breathe in. Bend it, open it, exhale. Inhale, extend it. Exhale, knee to left upper arm. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, bring it forward, put it down. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, hands behind. Lift the sternum, breathe in. Bow forward, exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pivot toes, warrior two, other side. Right arm up, inhale. Exhale, hands down, plank, move your way. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause, check in, and breathe in this down dog. Hmm, maybe let an exhale out through your mouth. Are you really allowing this practice just to illuminate all of the potential within the space, within the moment of time? Right, so it's not about this perfection state, but it's really about the capacity that we have to be all of the things. And recognizing that essence. All right, let's take a nice big bend in the knees, look forward, a little walk or a hop, find your way to the top of the mat, forward fold. And then come back into your chair pose as you inhale. 
And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Keep that length through your spine and rotate towards the right. So we'll take left elbow to outer leg. Get a little press of the palms together, lifting sternum upwards, slightly backwards. Breathe for three. And two. And one, inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the other way right away. So right elbow finds left leg. So you're working to keep the activation of the hamstrings and the glutes, squeezing them towards your midline. All right, inhale, come back to center. And then reach your hips back. And as you exhale, reach them a little further back. And just trust that the ground is going to be there for you. Maybe you use your hands, come all the way into your boat pose, Navasana. And then smile as you get there. Grab behind the backs of your legs and then give yourself a little pull so your knees come towards your chest. See if you can make a little bit more of a muscle in your low belly. And maybe you're keeping your hands here or maybe you're releasing your hands palms face up, drawing the shoulder blades down, widening the collarbones. And again, you're going to notice that sensation is going to come in. And maybe there's a story of the mind. Maybe there's a label that we associate with that sensation. Right? But again, this practice reminds us that there is potential in all that we experience. Right? It doesn't have to be one thing. So maybe we just experience the sensation. Or we choose how to respond to it. And it's all temporary, so we've just got one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, cross the legs, plant the hands, step or float back. Move your way. An up dog or a cobra might feel real nice here. Stretch out the core, stretch out the hips. And then we'll meet in our downward facing dog. Give yourself a nice big breath in. Exhale, mouth. All right, same thing, adding on, right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring it forward right away, put that foot down. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, hands behind, interlace. Inhale, lift the sternum. Exhale, bow forward, humble. Good, inhale, rise up, warrior one, pivot your toes. Warrior two, back at the mat. Left arm up and back, inhale, peaceful warrior. And then take your side angle. So left elbow, forearm is going to find the leg. Right arm is going to reach up and over your ear. Maybe you're staying here. If you're feeling open in the shoulders, we've done a couple of those humble warriors. You might want to wrap your right arm behind your back and then give yourself a little lean into it, opening up across the collarbones. Nice, everyone. And then just reach that right arm back up towards the ceiling if you had it behind you. And start to gaze past your toes. Reach your left arm past your toes. And you're going to start to shift forward into that left leg as you explore a half moon Ardha Chandrasana. Right, so if you've got some sort of prop around you, maybe a block, maybe you take that block and you put it underneath your left hand. Maybe it's a can of beans, a can of tomato sauce, whatever it is, lots of books. Right, or you can play with the balance. That hand can start to lift up off the block. A couple more breaths. And then exhale, go ahead and bend that front knee as slowly as you can, step it back, warrior two. Nice, inhale, reach the left arm up and back, peaceful. Exhale, hands find the ground, low lunge. Let's step to our plank position. And then take your right hand to the center of the mat and reach your left arm up, find your side plank. If you want, you could drop the bottom shin. You could even take this onto the forearm. Breathing, lifting up through that top hand, inhale. Exhale again, sensation arises. Unwrapping ourselves from the story that we associate with it. Reach that top arm overhead, come back to your plank, and then move your way. Maybe there's a vinyasa here. And find your way to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. 
One more side, left leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring it forward, put that foot down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands behind. Inhale, lift the sternum. Exhale, bow, humble warrior. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, pivot toes, warrior two. Inhale, right arm up and back, peaceful. And then this time, side angle, forearm comes to leg. Left arm can reach overhead. And again, choose to stay here, wrap that left arm behind your back, leaning into it, opening up the collarbones. Couple deep breaths. Staying steady with that breath, you'll start to gaze past the right toes. And you're going to reach your arm forward, shift into that leg, extending the top arm overhead. And again, your choice if you want to take the hand away from your prop or find a bit, a bit of support. You're really getting on one leg is this nice reminder that we live in a world of change. Right? So the more that we allow ourselves to respond to the potential of each moment of all of that change, the more we choose how to interact with our experience. Bend that right knee, step it back, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful, right arm up and back. Exhale, hands find the ground, step to your plank position. And then this time you'll take your left hand to the center, stack your feet, Vashistasana. And again, feel free to drop the bottom shin, come onto the forearm, breathing, pressing into the ground, lifting up out of the joints as you do so. All right, left hand comes overhead, two hands to the ground, or right hand rather, and then move your way. And let's meet in a child's pose. So eventually lowering your knees. It might feel good to take your arms by your sides in this child's pose and just let the head weight fall. Maybe a little rock of your forehead side to side on the mat. And then exhale out through the mouth, a sigh. And just notice those internal shifts. That capacity for wholeness. To not just be one thing, but our potential to exist as it all. Gently start to walk your hands up towards your knees, lifting your torso up. And then any way you want to shift onto your side, swing your legs around and come onto your back. And once you get to your back, let's take the feet flat and the knees pointing up. So we're going to set up here for one heart opener. So we'll all start with a half bridge. So kind of walk your feet in so that your uh, fingers can uh, just slightly graze your heels. And then press your hands down, press your feet down, and lift your hips up for that set two bandhasana. And from here, you got a couple options. Maybe you stay. Maybe you walk your uh, shoulders together and interlace your hands. Try to keep a small engagement in the core here so that you can really support your spine as you open. And if you are feeling really open in the chest and the shoulders, perhaps this turns into a wheel pose. So hands are going to come by your ears, fingers are going to point towards those shoulders, press actively down, and then lift the sternum up. Make sure you're breathing. And then 
exhale, lowering the hips all the way down. And when you arrive back on the mat, windshield wipering the knees, and let the feet come as wide as the mat as you windshield wiper. And the next time those knees fall to the left, let them stay there. And so your feet are wide on the mat. And so you'll find that your left foot is kind of near your right knee. So go ahead and, uh, if it feels okay, place that foot onto that right thigh. And give that knee a little tug forward towards the corner of your mat. And your right arm can reach towards the side. And really think about lengthening the tailbone towards the bottom of the mat here. And then on your exhale, gently let that go. Windshield wiper the knees side to side. And then eventually knees will fall to the right. And if it feels good, take that right foot onto the top of the left quadricep. Getting a little tug forward and down and then also feeling the sits bone, tailbone reach to the bottom of your mat. And then inhale, coming back up. Give yourself a hug, knees into your chest. Head up to your knees, nice big squeeze. And then exhale, lengthening the legs, lengthening the arms, getting yourself nice and comfortable and settling into Shavasana. Maybe let a breath out through your mouth, a sigh. <sighs> really taking these final moments here to surrender to that inherent capacity for wholeness. That inner vibration that you've brought up to the surface. You've got the time to stay a little longer. Please stay here in your Shavasana. If you are ready to come out, start to deepen your breath. And just place your palms together. And bring your thumbs right to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. <sighs> the light in me is the light in you. Namaste.